Hi everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Irma here. I'm here to show you my uh, uh, junk journal, my latest junk journal, which evolved around, it turned into like a rose theme, rose theme journal. It's very windy today. Um, so I'm going to show you my journal and I'll bring the camera down. Hope you're having a nice day. Let's see how we can do this. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'll zoom in a little. Okay. So this is the front cover. I used a uh, member's graphic fairy paper. It's got roses printed all over. Got tiny roses. This print was sent to me by Rachel from Canada. Thank you, Rachel. It was a while back. It's a beautiful image of a lady. She's got roses on her hair and down hair love this image. I have a uh, lace behind the image and there's a uh, um, textured uh, stock, cardstock under the lace. Rose apple K with some sequins. The corner saber here. And some curls. Uh, has a metal eyelet. Wow, listen to that. Woo. And it's tied with this trim. And here's the back. There you can see the, the printed image from Graphic Queries. Oh, and I did put a, a dangle here. It has some ribbon, some lace. Some of the trim I used to tie the book. Oops, I'm off frame. Sorry. There's a little green tassel. Some pearls. Some gold trim. And there's a, a little shoe. A little old shoe I found in my stash. And there's a uh, butterfly. Oh, and there's some roses up here, some porcelain some roses. There's a peach one and a pink one with little bling in the center. Some more pearls dangling from here. So that's it. Let me open it. Really doing very bad at centering this today. This is how it opens. It's got uh, two signatures. And I was going to count the pages and I didn't. It should be, I don't know, more than 40 pages in here. Double sided is 80. I'll put the, uh, when I uh, in the when I post it in Etsy shop, I'll put the number of pages in. So here's the back uh, front page. It has a little heart cut out with a stamp. Beautiful lady and rose, pink rose. Here's another pocket of flower and two uh, journaling cards. I believe these are from Graphic Fairies. The uh, cover pages, or some of these pages, are from uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. It is, uh, let me see, I have the name of the, there's, uh, it's called the Floral Symphony. Uh, printable Journal. 
that's where these pages and some of the cards are and some of the tags too so this is printed I printed every page with some um, coffee stained look here's a, a little bag a show bag I put some silk flower petals, rose petals in it, and there's another journaling card. Here's a uh, pocket, it has a tag, a journaling card, and a nice picture. All of the pockets are sewn in. And there's a paper clip with a heart dangle. There's one of the pages that I printed out. A doily, this one has been tea stained. Some of the papers are tea stained. This one is tea stained, and I uh, can't think of what. It has a lace. Let me check real quick. Oh, Folger. Embossing. That's the word I can't find. It has an embossing, embossed edge here. Don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can tell on the other side. Right there on the edge. It's embossed. It's a little sewn in doodad here, a flower. A belly band. A beautiful uh, journaling card. Look how pretty these are. Started out as a it's a different kinds of flowers, but it's got more like roses. Here's a a bee. Some uh, tea dye paper. A card. A pocket which is also embossed. Cute little image. A journaling card and some. Here's a safety pen with some lace and some uh, ribbon that's used to make the necklace and sure uh, chokers that women usually use in this era another printed paper here's some uh, this is the center of the signature it has uh, some rose petals a side pocket and two journaling cards and some paper washi here. This one is from Graphic. Graphic Fairies members. Uh, that's the same one. <laughs> okay. A beautiful image, some journaling space here, and embossed lace on the edge. A little paper clip and some banners. Another tea dye paper pocket. Look at that, so pretty. And a postcard. And it's got a um, some lined paper in the back. Now this one is sewn in. It's got a little ephemeral sewn in. The map. Nice little uh, picture here. Image. A lady with a hat and some roses. A journaling card with lines, line paper, a pocket, a little label that says sing. 
inside of the heart doily. A little trimmer there with lace. And printed paper. Here's a nice image. Journaling card. This is a stone end. Could be a tuck spot also. Has some lace. There's a little ephemera. There's a little um, crocheted flower with some lace and some printed paper. Inside there's a journaling card. Here's a floating envelope. Has some um, ephemera here piece of doily glued on and butterfly and you flip it down and it flips out and you can write here and it has an image here of a bee with some flowers they look like heirloom roses this is sewn in the back and this is the last page of that signature First page, the embossed edge. I think you can see it more here. Here's some ephemera, some lace, and there's a paper clip with a little, it's uh, like an antique uh, watch. Clock, beautiful image. A side pocket, and two tags. A label. A banner, a tuck spot for a journaling card. I'm sure these are from the graphics fairy. It's got lace, crochet, and a little flower there with some glitter. Here's a pocket with some journaling cards, a tag, and uh, one of those silk flower petals, rose petals. I hope you can hear me. Uh, an image, a doily. Is that just one of things? No. Pocket on the other side. Oh, this is a fold out hand. Um, look at that beautiful rose. And it has a doily, a die cut doily. And there's a pocket on this side. Two tags. And a label with a, a, a B. And wrap paper. This one is tea dyed. The bag. The image is a special moment. There's, there's a tag. A pretty printed background on the back. Pocket with some ephemera. Got some eye, eyelash lace, some lace, sorry about that, let's see if I can quiet this, okay, map, this is an envelope, it flips out, it has a journaling card here, and another card here. I have to reattach this envelope. And maybe glue it down. This is a flip pad. It has a little label there you can write on. This is the center of this signature. It has a, I used embroidery floss to tie these down. And it's got a little petal on the end. 
Side pocket. Journaling card. Tag. Another paper clip. This one has one of those little porcelain flowers with a little bling in the center. Maybe I can zoom this in a little more. Emboss edge, lace edge. Nice little flip out. Oh, these are. This is another floating envelope. Some ephemera that I made. Open it. Bring it down. Oops. Has to be opened in the right position. It's sewn in. Look at that pretty much. Uh, these are from Anna Griffin. Map, an envelope, I mean a, a bag, a journaling card, it's a beautiful heart, a pocket, <laughs> some lace, cotton lace, oh this is a strip that I made. Inspired by an uh, outpost, paper outpost, I believe. I think I got that right. A journaling card, a tag, this bird and some flowers. It's printed on the back. I really love making this journal. This is a uh, tea dyed graph paper. Another journaling card and another uh, mechanical bird image. This is the other side of that uh, and an image and this little shoe here with some flowers and roses. She died. Oh, doily. This is a uh, printed die. There's a pocket and journaling pages, journaling cards. And some sewn in ephemera, lace, heart. With a script, little paper washi, and this is an envelope, a tack. Oh, this is a beautiful image. It's a baby girl surrounded, in, you know, surrounded by roses. Isn't that cute? So this one flips up. It's sewn in. It's got a little writing space there. There's another label. It says grow. Uh, tea dyed. Pocket. Journaling card. And tag. Little tag. A little uh, label that says blue. Some more of that embossed edge. Here's a text spot with a little uh, journaling card. And a little tassel. A little paper clip. And that's the last page. Here I have a little uh, uh, applique dangle of a rose. I mean to put a little bit of distress ink on it so it doesn't look so white. Probably do that right now. Here's a heart with a stamp and a nice image. And an embossed pocket. 
let me see if I can find this little brush here. This is walnut stain. I use this brush and I'll just brush on it a little bit very lightly so that it doesn't look so white. So I'll just dress it a little bit. See, that takes away that, that whiteness. Yeah, it looks like an antique trim that the lady's been saving. Probably a wedding dress, her wedding dress. Or her grandma's wedding dress. And there, that doesn't look, oops. That doesn't look so white. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Let me see if I can count these patients real quick. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17. This one has 17 pages. Front and back, it's 24. If I didn't skip one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This one has 20. So that's 17 plus 20. Hold on a sec. Oops, put on the camera. I don't want the camera. Oh, come on. 17 plus, did I say 20 or 24? 20. That's 37 by 2. 74 pages front and back. So that's the journal. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did making it. A little nice. So guys, and I'll be posting this on my SC shop soon as soon as I take some pictures. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.